Epilepsy is a neurological disorder characterized by recurrent, unprovoked seizures. For nearly 30% of the patients with medically refractory epilepsy, surgical removal of the seizure onset zone is necessary to produce seizure-free outcome. To accurately locate the epileptogenic region, intracranial EEG is recorded in the epilepsy monitoring unit over days where multiple stereotypical clinical seizures are recorded to provide information about the seizure onset zone. HFOs have been proposed as promising neurobiomarkers for the identification of seizure onset zone, but they could also originate from functional brain structures. The discrimination of pathological and normal HFO is very challenging since frequency alone is not sufficient to distinguish between epileptic HFO and functional ones. We observed that HFOs from the seizure onset zone present repetitive waveforms. These highly similar HFOs may have different patterns but repeatedly appear throughout the recording. When we zoom in to sample HFO waveforms by visualizing the distance matrix, HFOs in random waveform shape provide weak or invisible connections, whereas highly correlated similar HFOs provide strong linkage. The compact connectivity in epileptic HFOs and the blank space in between suggest the existence of distinct patterns. We have proposed a clustering-based technique that is capable of quantitative detection of HFOs. After the Gaussian mixture model clustering using features derived from time frequency analysis of HFO candidates, a pool of HFO are captured with varying waveform shapes. If we put them into the native high-dimensional space, the similar events should form dense subclusters with small intracluster distance. Each of the subcluster is a group of HFOs that share the same waveform pattern and this pattern is supposed to be captured automatically by DB scan clustering method. We introduced a metric, clustering ratio curve, which is the number of subcluster with respect to the changing value of clustering distance. Initially, each observation is considered as an individual subcluster. As the radius expanded, the spatially close points will be immediately merged as one subcluster the total number of subclusters in data 1 drops much faster than data 2. This is how we quantify and compare the trend of repetition in HFOs in the seizure onset zone and normal HFOs. We run this algorithm in all HFO candidates and using radius of 0.5, those clustered events were localized in the epileptic structure, while those ones didn't get clustered were localized in the sensory motor cortex. We detected the stereotypical HFOs at changing radius from 0.05 to 1. The specificity and percentage of HFOs inside the seizure onset zone achieved 100% in all patients when the most similar HFOs are used for seizure onset zone localization, which means all of the HFOs firstly being clustered were generated by the seizure onset regions. As the radius increased to 1, the overall specificity and accuracy decreased considerably. The compactness of repetitive HFO waveforms is also associated to the spectral content of the HFO events. The fast ripples present a higher degree of signal similarity, as a small radius always identifies fast ripples at the first place. <laughs>